Good day everyone. It is nice to see you again. Welcome to our any learning as our learning community. Community Health Nursing 10 Herbal Medicines Approved by Department of Health The legal basis on the use of these medicinal plant is the Republic Act No. 8423, also known as Traditional and Alternative Medicine Act, or TAMA, of 1997, that was signed by former President Fidel V. Ramos. This act created the Philippine Institute of Traditional and Alternative Healthcare, or PITAC to further the development of traditional and alternative medicines in the Philippines, and it will be useful for the patients who have difficulty in accessing commonly sold drugs in the pharmacy. As nurses, we have a vital role in reaching out to the people in our communities and provide health education with regards to the importance of these herbal medicines. We should serve as role models to our people in order to empower them by offering alternative sources of medication outside the conventional medicine that is commonly used nowadays. The following are the list of the 10 medicinal plants that the Philippine Department of Health through its traditional health program has endorsed. All 10 herbs have been thoroughly tested and have been clinically proven to have medicinal value in the relief and treatment of various ailments. For you to easily remember the 10 herbal medicines approved by DOH, always remember the mnemonics Antalubi, S, Sambong, A, Ampalaya, N, Neogniagan, T, Chalangubat, A, Acapulco, L, Ligundi, U, Ulasimangbato, B, Barwan, B, Bayabas, and Y, Yerbabwina. Sambong. Common names are the following, Lacadbalan, Invicol, and Blumia camphora or Nge camphor, in English. Scientific name, Blumia balsamifera. Indications, a diuretic that helps in dissolving and excretion of urinary stones. It can also be used for edema. Preparations, boil chopped leaves in a glass of water for 15 minutes until one glassful remains. And divide decoction into three parts. Drink one part three times a day. Ampalaya. Common names are the following. Peria in Ilocano, Palea in Bisaya, and bitter gourd or bitter melon and bitter cucumber in English. Scientific name, Mamordica carincha. Indication, lowers blood sugar levels. Preparations. Chopped leaves then boil in a glass of water for 15 minutes. Cool and strain and take one third cup three times a day after meals. Nyagniagan. Common names are Tartaria oak in Tagalog, Balatadum in Bisaya, and Chinese honeysuckle in English. Scientific name, Quisquillus indica. Indications, it is used as antihelminthic. It is effective in the elimination of intestinal worms, particularly the Ascaris and Trichina. Preparations. Only the dried matured seeds are medicinal. Crack and ingest the dried seeds 2 hours after eating. 5 to 7 seeds for children and 8 to 10 seeds for adults. And if one dose does not eliminate the worms, wait a week before repeating the dose. Caution. Not to be given to children below 4 years old. Chalangubat. Common name are. Paputae, Inbicol, Alangit, in Bisaya, and Walti or Forest Tea in English. Scientific name, Carmona retusa, Val, Massum. Indications, effective in treating diarrhea, stomachache and also used as a mouthwash, since the leaves of this shrub has high fluoride content. Preparations, boil chopped leaves into two glasses of water for 15 minutes. Divide decoction into four parts and drink one part every three hours. Acapulco. Common name are as follows. Bayabas Bayabasum, Catanda, in Tagalog, and Dadasi, in Ilocano, Pelochina, in Bisaya, Ringwombush, and Seven Golden Candlesticks in English. Scientific name, Casharolata. Indications, it is used as antifungal. 
to treat ringworms and skin fungal infections, and athlete's foot. Preparations. Fresh, matured leaves are pounded. And apply soap to the affected area 1 to 2 times a day. Legundi. Common name are. Dangler, in Ilocano. Five lead chase tree and horseshoe vitex in English. Scientific name, vitex nigundo. Indications, for the relief of coughs, colds and asthma. Preparations, boil raw fruits, or flowering tops or leaves in two glasses of water for 15 minutes, and drink a cup after meals, three times a day. Ulasimangbato. Common name, Pancit Pancitan, in Tagalog, Aulacimon Ihalus, in Bisaya, Tangan Tangan, in Bicol, Shiny Bush and Pepperonia in English. Scientific name, Pepperomia pellucida. Indications, effective in fighting arthritis and gout, lowers uric acid. Preparations, can be eaten fresh, about a cupful, as salad or like tea. Boil a cup of clean chopped leaves into cups of water. Boil for 15 to 20 minutes, and strain, let cool and drink a cup after meals, 3 times a day. Bar 1. Common name, Agus, in Bisaya, and garlic in English. Scientific name, Allium sativum. Indications, it reduces cholesterol in the blood and hence, helps control blood pressure. Preparations, may be fried, roasted, soaked in vine gar for 30 minutes, or blanched in boiled water for 15 minutes. Take two pieces three times a day after meals, and for toothache, pound a small piece, and apply to affected area. Bayabus. Common name, guava. Scientific name, Cidium guajava. Indications, it is used as an antiseptic. To disinfect wounds. Also, it can treat tooth decay and gum infection. Preparations. Warm decoction is used for gargle. Taken 3 to 4 times a day as gargle and for toothache. Freshly pounded leaves are used for toothache. And boil chopped leaves for 15 minutes at low fire. And for washing wounds. Wash the leaves with running water before boiling it for at least 15 minutes. Wait until the decoction cools down into lukewarm temperature before rinsing the wound with it, and be careful not to use it while it is still hot as it may cause burn. And lastly, yerba buena. Common name, peppermint. Scientific name, Mentha arvensis and Clinopodium douglasii. Indications, vine is used as an analgesic to relive body aches and pain, for instance, arthritis. Preparations. Crush the fresh leaves and squeeze sap. Massage sap on painful parts with eucalyptus. Reminders on the use of herbal medicines. Avoid the use of insecticides as these may leave poison on plants. In the preparation of herbal medicine, use a clay pot and remove cover while boiling at low temperature. Use only the part of the plant being advocated. Follow accurate dose of suggested preparation. Medicinal parts of plants are best harvested on sunny mornings. Use only one kind of herbal medicine for each type of symptoms or sickness. Decoctions lose potency after some time. Dispose decoctions after some time. To keep fresh during the day, keep lukewarm in a flask or thermos. Leaves, fruits, flowers, or nuts must be mature before harvesting. Less medicinal substances are found on young plants. Stop giving the herbal medication in case and toward reactions such as allergy occurs. And if signs and symptoms are not relieved after two or three doses of herbal medication, consult a doctor. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, and be safe. Agyamanak.